hey guys and welcome back to my channel the nursing jewel ooh, 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 ooh. so today i'm coming at you guys with a video that i promised in my last vlog and basically it's going to be talking about um the lpn to rn programs and also pre-nursing and what they don't tell you about prerequisites guys like they are hiding information from us well, they're not really hiding it. I feel like they're hiding it in plain sight. Like, it's there in the fine print or it's there. But, you know, you never really check that out. You never see that. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, guys. So, um, this actually came upon me, when was it? A few months ago, like, right after I graduated from LPN school, looking for jobs, I'm like, okay, RN school, let's get this prereqs out the way. And so, originally, I had intended on taking, um intro to psych during like the last two months of my LPN program but I didn't have enough money <laughs> because um when was it around June when we took our exits if you didn't know what happened with my, with my exits at my school check out the video exits 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 but basically everyone failed the exits and we all had to drop four hundred dollars for a review class so I could not pay for um another class basically I couldn't pay another four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars for a psych class and also I want to take microbiology during the summer which is like six hundred dollars I couldn't afford that so I had to put both of those aside and so um I was basically like oh my gosh now I'm really behind with these um prerequisites what am I gonna do oh my gosh so I went to the three schools websites that I'm looking at currently um to do my RN in and Basically, I looked at the list of all the prerequisites that they all require. So for mostly all um, bridge programs or RN programs in general, the prerequisites that you need are anatomy and physiology one and two, microbiology, some schools that's a prereq, other schools that's actually in the program, um, intro to psych, uh, lifespan development, which is also called developmental psychology, and then um, sociology. Not all schools um, require sociology, but some do. So I was just like, oh my gosh, like, yo, I won't even be able to start RN school until like 2020 at this point because I don't have any of my prerequisites done. So um, while looking on the websites, uh, on the school websites for the nursing programs, I decided to look at frequently asked questions and if you don't know it's usually faq as facts um yeah so i decided to look on there and each of those programs there was a frequently asked question of do you accept clep and all of them said yes for intro to psychology um what else lifespan development sociology english one and two if you haven't taken english comp i forgot that's like a prerequisite for most schools too but like a lot of those I did in my like bachelor's degree, so that's already out the way. Some schools require chemistry one and two. I already did that in my bachelor's degree, so that's already out the way. But yeah, um, English one and two, computer literature, anything um, outside of the sciences, they do math as well. Uh, a lot of the schools accept CLEP. So I know you guys, some of you guys already know what CLEP is, others don't. CLEP is basically credit by examination. <laughs> Yes, guys. So basically, um, you pick a class that you want and you study on your own. You find your own books that will help you um, study. And it's basically they give you a test. It's an $87 test, guys, with like it, it resembles like a college final, like a class final. And basically for most schools, you need a 50 to pass and a 50 is equivalent to a C. So if you get higher than a 50, like each school has like what it breaks down to. So you get credits for that class. So for example, um, I plan on doing CLEP for intro to psychology. So I'm gonna study on my own. I'm gonna give myself enough time. They have apps that you could study with. They have, you could go to the library. They have CLEP test books that you could study with. Um, and when I feel that I'm ready, um, I go online to collegeboard, I believe, .com. If you guys don't know what College Board is, if you ever, if you took the SATs recently, um, I took my SATs in like 2010, um, so I don't know how it was before then, but if you've taken SATs, if you registered, it's the same site that you registered for SATs, the College Board. So basically, you register on there for the CLEP exam for whatever class you want. So for my example, Intro to Psych, 
you pay the $87, you schedule a date. Usually most community colleges um, hold testing centers for CLEP. If I pass the CLEP with like a 90, basically I could transfer um, those credits that are like, what, three credits for intro to psych into whatever program and get an A. It'll show up as an A on my transcript. You see where I'm getting at, guys? So um, that's what I plan on doing for intro to psych, lifespan development, and intro to sociology. So basically, $87 for per, um, per class compared to if you were to sit for, let's say, one semester of intro to psych <laughs> would probably be about $400 in your county um, college, especially if you don't get um, financial aid, you're paying that $400. So you see where I'm getting at, guys? So I just plan on studying and getting those out the way. So, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> so um, for my science courses, I plan on doing online science courses. Um, I'm already scheduled, well, I already registered for Anatomy and Physiology 1 through um, a community college that's here in Jersey, but they offer online science courses and it does have a lab. So um, not every school accepts online science courses. Now, one of the schools that I plan on applying to does accept all online science courses. And those are the only one, just a and 1 and 2 and microbiology are the only ones that I have to do. I've done um, Chem 1 and 2, like I said, in my bachelor. So I'm getting that out the way, but I feel like that's easier for me because I could work and, you know, do the class. And so it comes with a lab. The lab is an in-home lab kit. So that's basically my secret for LPN to RN programs and pre-nursing. So I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, guys, give a like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.